room. Let's check in again with Dave Aguilera about our forecast and the storms coming. Yeah, take a look at the shot behind me, Michelle. We are loaded with moisture with a storm coming through Evergreen right now. That's our library cam looking out west. And on the Evergreen Parkway camera, I-70, we're picking up a few little sprinkles. The big storm is just south of this area. Let's take you right to the radar and we'll show you what's going on. We've got a jet stream pushing moisture right over Colorado, central portion of the state here. And we've got thunderstorms from Larimer County all the way down to Park County going on right now. The a big storm now that just blew up over Evergreen, not moving very quickly. So you guys are going to have a lot of rain in a very short period of time there. In fact, we uh, had a report of some hail up in that location. Take a look. This is one of the decks uh, up there in the uh, Evergreen area. A lot of rain and some very small pea size uh, to BB size hail up in there at area from that uh, storm going through that location there. All right, let's go back to the high res radar here. And I want to show you some of the burn scars. I've highlighted those in red for you here. The Cameron Peak has already had had a couple of little thunderstorms going through here. This is the East Troublesome here, not too bad there. But with these thunderstorms kicking up in those areas, could have a flooding concern later this afternoon. We'll be watching for that with that close up look there. So, um, the reason for this, we got one front that went through. In between, we've got a low pressure area up in Wyoming that's pulling moisture in and a jet stream dipping under that low, and that's what's helping to lift these thunderstorms up in that location. So, over the course of the next couple of days, this front comes through, good chance of rain tonight and then over the holiday weekend the next front comes through that'll keep the temperatures in the 80s for both Saturday and Sunday and then a Las Vegas high will slide in for Labor Day and get us back into the heat and we've got more hot temperatures coming your way next week so the future cast shows these storms over Denver moving out over the eastern plains during the night tonight tomorrow mostly clear and just a few spotty thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon south of the Denver metro area primarily now the storms that do develop from Denver out east have the potential for for severe uh, storms, meaning one inch diameter hail and winds up to 60 miles per hour. And it does include DIA and part of Aurora now pushing out over uh, into uh, Kansas. So we'll have to be on the lookout the next couple hours as these storms roll across the city. High temps today, 80s primarily down low with 70s and 60s up in the mountains. So scattered thunderstorms and showers moving through during the course of the afternoon. Best chance for Denver will be about 2 o'clock to 6 o'clock to see these uh, go on. Close to 80 for the high temperature uh, today. Tonight, evening storms and then partly cloudy sky and your Labor Day forecast looks like this. We are looking about 80 tomorrow. There's just a slight chance of a late day storm. We dry out Sunday and Monday, 86 on Sunday with sunshine. And for Labor Day, 91 with sunny and warm conditions. And that will carry on over to a dry Tuesday as well. So good looking holiday weekend, Michelle. We just have to make it through what may turn out to be a pretty stormy afternoon here on the eastern plains of Colorado. Well, I know you have us covered, Dave. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks so much. And remember, you can get news anytime, anywhere from CBSN Denver. You'll find it on our app and you can download it right now from Google Play or your Apple Store. Remember, it is free.